He was interested in the science of electricity, whereas it really was a laboratory trick used to entertain students. So the flipping of the different contacts from either normal open to normal close, this is just like Good day, everyone. You're watching Makoga Enterprises. Today's topic is going to be on relays. We will understand the concept of a relay, and also we know exactly what are the different parameters to look at a relay in a relay, and to know what type of relay is suitable for our designs. So we start, and we move over to relay race. While we understand the concept of a relay race, we will now have to understand also what is an electrical relay. So a relay race is a racing competition where members of a team take turns completing parts of a race course or performing a certain action. So we have different persons that are aligned in a different team. I'll give an example. We have team A, team B, and team C. So in team A, we have probably three members running in that team. In team B, we have three, and team C, we have three. So they have each group has one button. So they stand at different spots, whereby the first is going to run and give the button to the next, and the next give it to the next until we get the final result, which is going to tell us who win or won the race. So each runner must hand off the button to the next runner within a certain zone. So they stand in a certain zone where they're waiting for the button and then they hand it over to the next runner. It is very important. So while we understand the concept of a relay race, we now have to come now to an electrical relay so we understand now the phenomenon and to know how the different contacts operate. The Washington Macaulay Enterprises, please do like, share, subscribe, and keep sharing as well as turn on the notification button so that when anytime we upload a new video, you're going to be notified. And thanks for watching and keep watching. I'll take us to a graphic. These are the runners. So the first person is standing at this spot where this runner comes and then hands the button to the next runner. So it changes from this person and move to the, the next person. Take to the next graphic. As you can see, this is a button. And then these persons at this line, they are standing at a particular spot. So they have to stand there until they receive the button before they can move. We move now to the whole idea of a relay. Relays are electromechanical switching devices, which is used in domestic, commercial, and industrial installation. Automation, drinks, processing, food processing, brewing, manufacturing companies, and many more. They are used in panel boards, panel control systems to control automated system processes. So I take you to a graphic whereby we have, this is an automobile company. So we have contactors, we have relays that are working in this plant. We move to drink processing industry. So we have relays in this case as well, which are used to control the different points. And we have um, food processing industry as well. So in all these different industries, we have different kinds of relays that are being used to control the different aspects as far as the process is concerned. I'll take you us now to fundamentals. Electromechanical relay was invented by a U.S. scientist in 1835 called Joseph Henry. And between 1797 to 1873, was known as an inventor of electromagnetic phenomena. He was interested in the science of electricity and relays were laboratory trick used to entertain students. This is a key factor. This is a key part that we need to understand. So a relay he was interested in the science of electricity, whereas it really was a laboratory trick used to entertain students. So the flipping of the different contacts from either normal open to normal close, this is just like a laboratory trick as 
they say to, which which was used to entertain students. For example, I'll give an example. We put maybe um we put a, a light box in different switching terminals, and when they keep flipping up and down, up and down, up and down, changing the contacts and probably putting this lamp A on, switching off, putting lamp A, B, A on, switching off just like that. It keep going on and on, off and on, off and on, off and on. This is all known as a laboratory trick which was used to entertain the students. Move to the schematic representation. So we have a single pole relay and then we have a triple relay. As you can see, a single pole relay, I've got a coil and it has two set of contacts, which is normal open and normal close contact. So the same way we look at a triple pole relay, which is also called a contactor. In this case, these are mechanical relays. So it has line one, line two, line three, and has some auxiliary contacts which are attached to the contactor or to the triple relay. So we have NO and NC, which is normal open and normal closed contacts. I'll give or take us now to different types of relays. We have read relays. The read relay is a type of relay that uses electromagnet to control one or more read switches. The contacts are of magnetic material and the electromagnet acts directly on it without requiring an armature to move the contacts. As you can see, there is no armature, there's no moving part. Once the coil is energized, it now moves the contact either from normal open to normal close or from normal close to normal open. We have solid state release. Solid state release are electronic switching devices that switches on or off when small external voltage is applied across the control terminals. It has no moving parts as semiconductors provide the switching states. We move now to mechanical relay. Mechanical relays are devices that can turn on or off the power supplied to another device, like a switch. Instead of having a person flipping the switch, mechanical relays switch when provided with sufficient power to the coil. The current sent through a coil magnet acts to pull a flexible spring loaded conductive plate from one switch contact to another. It's very important. So we'll move to a graphic of how to identify a mechanical relay. In this case, we'll be talking of single pole mechanical relay, as you can see. So if we look at a single pole mechanical relay, we will see that we have a coil, which has A1 and A2. We have common contacts. We have mechanical coil actuator, and then we have two different contacts, which is normal open and normal closed contact, as you can see here. So to examine a relay or to identify a relay, we need to understand how many volts should be supplied to the coil of that relay. It's very important in order to do or to carry out the switching. So we have in this case, 24 volt DC relay. So if we look at, at the top of the relay, we will see the amount of voltage that should be supplied to the coil of this relay. So this is a coil. The coil is A1 and A2. So we will fit these two terminals with 24 volt DC. So we have the common, we have mechanical coil at Twitter. So once you push this button here, we are going to change the normal close to normal open and the normal open will close, will change to normal close contact. Move to the next graphic. Graphic practical structure of a single pole relay. So as you can see here, I've designed this in such a way that we get to understand it when you look at it and you look at the different contacts, you'll be able to understand how a relay or a single pole relay functions. So we have a spring here, and then we have this mechanical coil actuator. So when you press this button, which is green, it will now move the spring downward. By so doing, we'll move this contact, which will move down and then changes the NC to NO. So like now we have this in, in a normal close contact, so it will change the contact once this mechanical coil actuator is pushed down. Once you move your hand now, it moves back up. So the extension and retraction is controlled by the spring. So once you press the mechanical coil actuator, it moves down. And then once you release, it retracts back again. So we have this set of contact here, supply terminal for the coil. This is a coil. And 
like I didn't mention, if we go to the, the previous slide, the previous uh, uh, graphic that we saw, this is 24 volt DC relay. So we have to supply this coil with a 24 volt DC in this case. Once we feed this coil, the contacts are the, the relay coil is going to energize, and then we change all these contacts here. So as you can see here, we have A pole and we have A pole. So both poles are all the same pole. In this case, I'll say they are all light poles. So as we know, the law of magnetism, it says that light poles repels while on light pole attract. So if we have both light poles, they are going to repel. They are not going to attract each other. So what happens now here, if we fit sufficient voltage, the coil of this relay, after going through the previous uh, graphic, we saw 24 volt in this case. So we now fit our coil with 24 volt DC. In this case, now we energize the coil and then changes this pole, this pole A to pole B, which becomes an unlike pole. So unlike pole and like pole now we attract. By attracting means, these two contacts will now move to each other by changing the NC to NO and changing the NO to NC. So these contacts now are going to change due to magnetization of the coil.